Enter the cab using the handrails and steps with the cab in the forward direction. Place your hard hat and safety clothing in the storage compartment. Always use the safety belt. A number of different seat adjustments are available. All of them are described in the operator manual. It is important to make the necessary operator weight adjustments with the mechanical lever until you see the green field display in the glass indicator. As an option, the seat is equipped with air suspension. Press the air suspension switch until you see the red field and then release it until it is green. Adjust the seat so that you feel comfortable when holding the joysticks and steering wheel and reaching for the pedals. With your foot, press the button on the bottom of the steering column to adjust the position of the steering wheel. For best visibility when digging, move the steering column out of the working area. For maximum operator comfort, keep the front window closed, especially in dusty conditions. Sometimes, however, you may need to communicate or require extremely good visibility. In such cases, fold up the upper front window into the cab ceiling. Make sure that it is locked in its upper position. When digging extremely deeply, it could be useful to lift out the lower front screen. The screen can then be placed in the door bracket. Adjust all the mirrors in order to get a clear view and be able to work safely within your surroundings. Use the right hand pedal for forward and reverse. With the heel on the floor you have excellent support and control. With the left hand joystick you operate the dipper arm and the sluice circuit. When the joystick is moved forwards, the dipper arm moves forwards. And when moved backwards, the dipper arm does the same. Moving the joystick to the left the excavator will slew to the left. And when moved in the opposite direction, the excavator slews to the right. The right-hand joystick operates the boom and bucket. By moving the joystick forwards, the boom lowers. And to lift the boom, the joystick is moved backwards. The bucket is filled by moving the joystick to the left and emptied by moving the joystick to the right. The forward and reverse switch is placed on the right-hand joystick with a neutral position in between. Until you become more familiar with which gear you are in, you can find the information on the display forward, neutral and reverse. When braking, use the brake pedal, which is located second on the right. When you press hard, it will snap into a mechanical locking system, the digging brake. This brake should always be applied when digging. To release the brake, press the brass-colored arm to the left of the pedal. To operate the optional two-piece boom, use the proportional rocker pedal on the left of the steering column. The left-hand pedal in the cab operates the optional hammer shear hydraulics. It can be combined with switches on the joystick. Refer to the operator manual for more information. On the left-hand joystick, you can activate the oscillating axle lock. The lower switch on the same joystick will activate the horn. 
the optional proportional roller switches operate different hydraulic circuits. Using these, it is very easy to fine control the hydraulic flow. Normally, you will find on off switches instead, which could prove to be sufficient for many of the attachments. For more detailed information, refer to the operator manual. The right hand joystick has the same number of switches on the top as the one on the left. A proportional roller switch and two extra on off switches. Refer to the different functions in the operator manual as there are too many variations to be covered in this video film.